Blessings, everyone. Today is a very, very strong portal energy. This morning when I woke up, spirit came through and was speaking about 2323. And they explained to me that the number 23 represents the help and the guidance that we get from the angels, the ascended masters, and many of the light beings. And it also together accompanies the number five, the three and the two is the five. And so that infuses purpose into this. So today spirit came through and said to focus our energy on asking for help, to allow the guidance to step through. And we're gonna see some beautiful signs today. Already it's been just incredible for me and it's very early on in the day. So just expect that when we open up with this energy and this vibration today, that we will be receiving signs and little nudges or droplets from spirit in whatever way we're asking, whether it's directly embodying source light or whether we're reaching out to our angels or our loved ones in spirit or any of our ascended masters that we work with they will be there and they may show us things that surprise us today because there's been a lot of surprises it feels like that energy today they keep bringing that through that perhaps it's a little bit more than we expected but in a good way and so the nudges to do the spirit um archangel animal oracles because there's been a lot of medicine recently with all the energy of the animals, not just with the light beings, ascended masters, angels, and so on. And so I would like to say first, thank you to Source for allowing me to be a medium of light. And I ask the angels and the archangels and the beautiful octave angels of many, many layers to please step forward and help me bring an animal message in spirit for the highest good. Thank you. So I'm just going to shuffle. The first one embodies the energy of source. When I move the energy with the cards, I am inviting that energy for all of us that are receiving this message today to flow with the energy of source and the second shuffle i'm moving the energy this embodies spirit so all of the messages that we receive is from our higher self so when they connect in source space in all creation then it comes through spirit which is connected to our higher self a lot of times the ascended masters work in this way where they step forward and they work with our higher self, which then comes through as a download. And the third shuffle embodies the soul, and this moves the energy for the story. So what happens is, as we receive the embodying light, the crystals from source, the ascended masters and light beings step forward to work with our higher self and spirit, and then it infuses into the soul which is the fragment, the small piece of spirit, kind of like the glass of water that we take from the ocean and carry with us. And that's what that embodies. And that was, that's what that energy moves. And then I just move the deck. And when something rises up or moves out of the deck in a certain way, that is spirit's way of letting me know that this is the energy they wanna work with. And it's elephant. Open yourself to true abundance. Archangels Mary and Raphael. And as they draw close, the first thing that I'm hearing is that we know that the elephant is known for great wisdom and they are family orientated. There's a lot of compassion that comes with elephant spirit. The medicine teaches us that that through this experience of the 2023 portal where the Ascended Masters will be working with our higher self, 
they're also encouraging us to expand our awareness a little further than that and understand that we have an ability to embody the Akashic records. It's not just something that we visit. We have become a living source of the Akashic records. And that is the wisdom because we've had so many lifetimes. And with these portals and shifts and downloads and energy, we are able to bring that into our being as a part of the soul experience here and call on that. So we don't always have to look outside of all that we are for the wisdom. And the elephant is encouraging us today as we connect with our soul family. We notice that we've been triggering each other. I see this on social media that I visit all the time and speak with everyone. And someone will share a, a beautiful sunset and somebody else is saying, oh my goodness, that just expanded me in some way. And so this is a message that they're stepping forward. I'm sorry I'm going fast, but it's coming so fast today. That they're giving this message that we are embodying the wisdom. And so elephant medicine helps us hold that space so you may be surprised today you may see not all of us are lucky to go out and we live in an area where you're going to see an elephant but maybe you're visiting some kind of a zoo or a reserve you're maybe peeking at a safari somewhere on a video or something or a, a, a picture and it's going to trigger that for us even the color gray they're speaking about the colors and the swirls there's a lot of green energy today that's heart chakra and i just did a heart chakra um singing bowl and shared it on social media and it just felt like such an expansion today and this is something that they're coming through with all of these ascended masters and angels they resonated a certain octave, tone, frequency. And each of them work with the different chakra systems as well. And so today we see Raphael, not only does Archangel Raphael stepping forward because he works with our health, and he's speaking of the endocrine system today. This is important that we are working, flushing out the endocrine system. Um, maybe we're juicing or we're eating certain foods, taking certain nutrients in that help to to flush that out. It, it, this is very important, it seems. But Raphael also works with the heart space. That's that beautiful green light resonance. It's that energy. And so this is coming through. They're, they're making me aware of the beautiful blue, which is also for the throat chakra. And the elephant medicine, when mixed with the heart, which is green, and the blue, which is the throat chakra, is encouraging us to speak our heart, speak our truth from our heart. It's always heart-centered space. And this is where the wisdom comes from. Because once something settles in our heart and we become clear with it, and we can express it in a space of love, it's no longer knowledge. It's no longer just experience, but it becomes wisdom. It is. That is embodying. And that's how we transform all of our experiences here. All of our expanding moments is through the heart space. Because when we're too in our head, we're too much in our head, we're still trying to draw on knowledge. We're trying to make sense of it. We're using logic. And sometimes we need that in life. It's important to have that. But that is a tool. When we're sharing wisdom, which is the medicine that comes from the elephant, that must be something that's been processed and expanded through the heart space. And that's how we also embody the Akashic records is in the heart space. Because it has to be something that's already been healed. It's been understood. Maybe we've even had a lesson that we've experienced in, in many different ways and forms. So not only have we experienced a lesson for ourselves, but we've understood it through different experiences through others. And that can create a powerful wisdom. So they're pulling their energy back. They just want us to know that when we recognize these things today, we do see the elephant if this is something that resonates with you 
Step into the heart space and draw on the wisdom and share this today. Be fearless. It's very important because we all have a piece of the puzzle that we're sharing as a soul family. And we're learning to embody this with each other and encourage each other. It's the most beautiful expression of source awareness and love. All my love and gratitude. Thank you for allowing me to share with you family today.